Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from St. John's and I have the privilege to interview today Stefan Vincent from Arizona. Hi Stefan, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you Meher? Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So Stefan, through his 20 plus years experience building and leading teams, he has strongly believes that in order to build a winning, inspiring and caring culture, a leader must place their collaborators at the center of their strategy. As a thought leader in employee experience EX and a pioneer in B2E marketing, Stefan helps organizations transform their company culture by adopting human-centric SX and brand mindset to increase employee attraction, retention, and engagement. So Stefan, my first question for you is in terms of employee, in terms of company culture, why that's so important to the employers and the employees and how they evaluate during the interview if this person is a fit to the company culture or not? It's a great question. I mean, first of all, I don't think there's any magic formula to mm. determine whether there's going to be an alignment, a cultural alignment between mm. a prospective candidate and an employer. Uh, it's not like, you know, you get a chance to date someone for a few months or a few yeah. years before you decide to get married. So that's probably why there are so many breakups and divorces. Uh, just because you just have a, maybe a couple, maybe three, four interviews before yeah. you decide whether or not you're going to build the uh, relationship, right? Um, so there are a few things, I think, where you can you can assess whether... <clears throat> this you know there can be a cultural alignment or not i don't like to say culture fit because for me i mostly look at culture ad yes. meaning I don't necessarily want to bring too many of the same yeah people organizations you want actually you know to add people who are going to bring something new to the organization whether it's in terms of personality you know, uh, technical skills, mm -hmm. professional backgrounds, uh, cultural backgrounds, and so forth and so forth. So more on the culture add versus the culture fit, for sure. Uh, now, there are ways to evaluate and assess, you know, if there is some, some alignments in, term of, in terms of culture. So from, from an employer or a, a recruiter perspective, um, no, you can you can ask on the application form and during the interview as well. Any questions. No, how candidates have thrived in some organizations in some cultures and why, mm -hmm. so that you get a sense of whether or not by the way they're responding, if it's going to be a good match for your own organization organization's culture, and just and then even ex explain why they didn't like such organization or why they decided to leave so that you have an idea of what they don't like in terms of culture mm -hmm. right and then from an employee or from a candidate perspective mm -hmm. um you just ask the same question what it's like to work for your organization you know why do people like working why don't people you know um why do people why people don't like working for you um, you know, you can look at Glassdoor reviews. Yes. You know, Glassdoor is not the Bible necessarily. You know, there might be some people who have been recently laid off or mm -hmm. let go and may express the anger and frustration. So you don't have to believe necessarily, but at a very macro level, I think that you get a pretty good sense historically when you look at the reviews of you know what what the what the perception of the employees is of a specific organization. And then in addition to, to that, you can look at you know, the employer brand, whether it feels like propaganda, really from the employers, meaning that it can be misleading, which is very genuine. And I really believe, and I've done that in organizations too, where you basically just recruit internally mm -hmm. employer brand ambassadors to actually express in their own words what it's like to work for your organization instead of a more of a corporate message that can feel and sounds too salesy and not as genuine. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I believe that 
if they are hiring the same sites, will be like a lot of mini me's and not a lot of creativity and not a lot of challenging. But at the same time, do you feel that if they are bringing a lot of people from diverse background, diverse personalities to add to the culture, do you think that that will also create kind of a conflict or a lot of issues or not? Well, I mean, you know, you, ha you have some personality assessments that you can use. I know that some organizations use them, others don't. Um, I don't believe one way or the other, really. I think it, it really matters of what is good for a specific company. Yeah. Um, depending on the size of the organization, mm -hmm. if it's a much smaller organization, I think you can have a sense of how that particular candidate is going to mesh with the entire company. When it's for large organizations, you really want to see how that candidate is going to mesh with the people on the team that you're recruiting yeah. or that you're filling the role for, right? So it's more on the micro level than just a macro level if mm. it's a small organization. Mm. Um, so I think that's important to have this in mind. Yeah. Now, again, the cultural alignment is really hard to assess yeah. i think another way to look at it is in terms of value alignment mm -hmm. so cultural ad definitely you want again to bring diversity because cultural ad is all about diversity yeah right? so you want to be able to add diversity again across all the spectrum in terms of you know diver diversity from ethnicity to gender to age to professional backgrounds yeah. the skill sets you know cultural sensitivities sexual orientation and so forth and so forth. Yeah. But uh, so in terms of values alignments, I think you can better assess whether or not there's value alignments and then there's potential cultural alignments mm -hmm. within just the framework or the, the time frame of application and then interview process. Yeah. Those are great tips, Stefan. I totally agree with you. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Stefan a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, make comments, share with them. And please in, tune in next time for other great questions. Stefan.